Hey guys, Buck59 here coming to another action figure review. This time we're looking at the new Gypsy Danger Hong Kong Brawl. Uh, this is from Nega Toys, and you can see right here this is Gypsy with the little boat that goes on his hand. You can see it's here, it's a super articulated, all new figure. It looks really nice. Warning, choking hazard. I want to choke on the boat. Comes with uh, extra hands and knives and stuff too. Looking really cool. Over here on the top says Jaeger and how many kaijus it's killed. In battle, Pacific Rim right there. Nothing on the sides, on the bottom, some stuff. Over here on the back, got a nice little image of Gypsy right there. Let me see if I can Let's see. It says Mark Three, Hong Kong Brawl, and all the figures in the other line. Romeo Blue, Anchorage Attack Gypsy, which is like kind of battle damage to with no arm but this is the part where you're fighting the knife uh, knife head and tacit ronin which i also happen to pick up so awesome let's open up this bad boy though and see how cool it really is all right so here we have the newest version of gypsy danger open up not of the packaging and you can tell here it comes with interchangeable fist hands in case you don't want them to have the open palm hands you can have them you know with the fisted hands so you can do that uh, those are an option for you, and then he comes with the blade that he used to kill Otachi in the movie. So you get the blade right there as an extra accessory, and this blade looks a little bit nicer than uh, than the other blade that we had gotten from the Battle Damage Gypsy Danger. You see this blade? It's like kind of open. This one's all nice and you know melted shut. So we'll take a look at that later. So that's also an option if you want to put that. And then of course it comes with a little ship which is very cool and very nicely damaged I'm liking the detail on this figure on this uh, ship accessory right here looks very nice look at that and it has the the spot right there you know it has four holes for the four fingers and then it has for the thumb right here um, it doesn't exactly fit the way you wanted it to fit I've kind of made it um, or I've attempted to put I just put the fingers in and then kind of let it dangle from his hand so that works if you want so you can see right there gypsy danger holding the ship ready to fight otachi oh yeah very cool so yeah this this guy has much better details than the uh, original one that they had given us let's, let's take the boat out for now uh. now my original uh, gypsy danger took a tumble so he has no left leg at the moment so let's just compare him side by side right here uh, this one is a little bit taller than the original one you can see here the painted gold on this guy's visor is much a uh, nice nicer gold color than the little painted yellow that they had back then uh, this was painted on him now it's like sculpted on him and then there's a red in there uh, they just added this little red circle right there which I guess is where the Gypsy Danger logo is supposed to go on whereas this one does not have that uh, where else over here in the top parts of the figure he's got some red right there you can see on the insides whereas this figure does not uh, what else what else well I guess the legs itself you know the leg has got some yellow right there no coloring over here whereas in this version he has the pistons colored in really nicely and he's got no yellow on the leg but the red is a little bit more outlined and again it's a nicer metallic sheen color to it see even the side here is nicely more detailed than the original version so you can see that right there he's definitely a taller figure and then uh, to compare him with the battle damage version this one can't stand up on its own so we can see that right there the battle damage version is a little bit, you know, darker, more rusted colored, and has, you know, some scratches on him here and there. Mainly, you know, the battle damage. He still has, you know, the ugly yellow eyes. He doesn't have the cool, perfect metallic eyes like this one has, but hopefully they'll give us a better version of this one. Um, hopefully, if not, then oh well, we'll just have to settle for whatever we get, right? So, um, as for your articulation. This guy has much better range of articulation than the other one did. The arms can go in and out. Then this thing can kind of move in and out also, which is really nice. Gives it a nice range of movement. The bicep can move, 
you know, left to right. He's got articulation here, and he's got like a little ball joint right there inside of the. I don't know if you can tell. We could shine that right there. I don't know. But he's got a little ball joint going on in there. And then what we got is uh, we got rotation here. I don't want to break it, so I'm not moving it too much. But you know, you can move this around, it's a possibility. So the legs can go in and out, kind of. I also don't want to break it, but the thighs can go in and out as well. And of course, forward and back. This one's a little tight on me, I thought it was going to break it. But this one's nicer. And he's got. I think double jointed knees. I believe yes, he has double jointed knees now. So that gives him a much better range of mobility. Classic gypsy. For the thigh, uh, the ankles, these can go up this much, and these can go back. But I don't want to break it. Mine doesn't seem to be going back that much, and I don't want to break it. But you know, the legs can go side to side as well. Nice little range of motion right here. The hand also can rotate, and again, you can interchange them. But I don't want to because I'm every time I try to interchange hands, it's kind of like hard to pop the other hands back on. So I just leave it like so. And then of course the head can you know look downward, kind of. Let me see if I can make. No, not really. Uh, well, it can move side to side at least, but not really downward. I don't know. They extended the head upward more though, which I like. So, overall, and this is still a nice little rubbery material, so it's very nice. Really liking this new Gypsy Danger figure. Definitely adding it to my collection and seeing how I'll pose him because this guy doesn't seem to want to stand upright. But yeah, this is Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger. And with this accessory, you know, you can't go wrong putting that. On him, always gonna fall. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this review, guys. So let me know, you know, which Gypsy Danger is your favorite? Are you gonna pick up this new Gypsy Danger? Uh, you probably should. You know, this is a much better upgrade to the original one we had. And um, of course, you can always interchange the hands also, so you can have the original version kind of. Oops. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you already haven't. More reviews coming soon. Happy 2015, you know, hope you guys are having a good 2015 so far. And, uh, you know, more reviews coming soon, so check them out. Take care, guys.